My bird is very silly today, so. I am not gonna hold him because he's very flappish. See? He just does everywhere. obviously enjoying his jungle gym a lot we got it like i don't know a month month and a half ago maybe <laughs> i'm remembering correctly and for the first couple weeks he didn't really he didn't show any interest in it um we kept we put it next to his cage to get him used to just having it around and we would take little bits of spray millet and attach them to the bars to try to lure him over and he eventually went over and started playing on it and now he's on it all the time he's on it like every day we usually keep it on the floor the table right near his cage and he just hops out of his cage and goes over and he climbs on it and he plays with the bell and he sits in the swing and i think he really enjoys it so that was a good buy <laughs> um it definitely wasn't a waste of money um the other thing that happened with pillows this was about a week or two ago um his flight feathers were getting pretty long he was becoming very mobile to the point where he could fly unhindered from the living room out into the kitchen and we said okay well that's a little too much because if we had anything cooking if we had anything hot on the stove or anything going on in the kitchen that obviously could have been really dangerous so we clipped his wings um, Kevin fed him some millet and I sort of snuck up behind him with these little hair cutting scissors and just snip snipped his his flight feathers and it's actually funny because even though like I said we only did that about a week or two ago his feathers have already grown back substantially. I didn't cut them as short as they might have if we had taken him somewhere to get them cut, but they were definitely short. Like after I cut them, he couldn't fly nearly as well as he could before, but he could still flap around. He could get up to his cage. He could get on the table. He could get on the floor. He's perfectly mobile. But in a really short period of time, those feathers have just like, like they've just grown out all over again. So we might have to do another trimming pretty soon. We have no problem whatsoever with him being able to fly. Our one concern is, like I said, we don't want him being able to fly really quickly into the kitchen. And we also always want to be able to have an element of control over him. We don't want him to like fly, for example, up onto the top of the fan and just perch up there and then we suddenly can't reach him. Also, when his wings are trimmed, he can't fly as fast. So there's much less chance of him crashing into the window or crashing into the wall or, or anything like that. Um, when his wings are clipped, he just kind of flaps and lands, flaps and lands. And like I said, he has complete mobility. He can get up onto the table. He can get up onto his cage. He can fly to the top of his cage, but he just doesn't have the real flight power of a bird with full flight feathers. Um, he's eating pellets now, not entirely. We still give him seed every day, but seed is becoming less and less of a, a percentage of his diet. And he's getting his broccoli every day. We've tried giving him spinach as well. We have got like a big fat spinach leaf and kind of stuck it on the side of the cage. And we would stand there and eat spinach in front of him, which actually didn't taste very good, but uh, we ate it in front of him trying to get him interested in it. And he wasn't really, he hasn't really gotten into spinach yet, but um, he still gets his broccoli on a daily basis. What's Pillow doing right now? He's a little, like, elbow here. <laughs> he likes his millet, huh? He's making a mess all over your shirt. Really? Yeah, look at that mess.
that's just a little update about Pillow. Um, if you're at all interested in us and our family vlogs outside of Pillow, check out our other channel, Kevin and Krista. We have a link below. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye.